basket for the month. So before I go into new stuff that I'm gonna use, this let's go over the old stuff first, see what I'm keeping, see what I'm not, what have you. First is what was on my lipsticks for the month. I decided to work on my uh, Vice lip palette. Let's see. Yeah, Vice lipstick palette. It doesn't seem to have a name. I'm sure it does, and I just don't know it. But uh, it has 12 shades, and I have used most of them at least once. The only two that I have not used are these two right here, not because I don't like them, just there were other shades that I wanted to work on. So like this shade in studded right here, I was like, what am I gonna use that with? Turns out if I mix studded with this Wrath right here, it makes a really pretty like reddish coppery color, which I was relieved to find. Um, I have not used this color yet. I'm planning on using it tomorrow in Junkie. So I will have a look with that. I originally had Disturbed on earlier today, but uh, it dried the hell out of my lips, so I had to switch to something different. But I used Whip one day, I used Big Bang and Firebird together. I just, Big Bang was just like on the center of my lips. And I used uh, Vanity Kills and Speedball together. And I used uh, 714 by itself one day. I love this brush. Like I love the fact that once you just put it in, it is completely sealed so it doesn't get lip, lip product everywhere. Like this palette, I know people kind of rag on lip palettes as something most people will not use, but this one was actually really well thought out. Like it has this little case over it to keep all the crap out. It has not only a spot for a lip brush and it comes with them, but it comes with one that actually like seals and doesn't get lip product everywhere. And it comes with a mirror and it is more compact than you think. I actually have traveled around with this, like both in a travel case and in my purse. So it's not that bad. Like, I think they have one out this year too, but I really like it. And now for the rest of things, I'm just gonna pull out as I pull out. Uh, I have the Milani Conceal Imperfect. This is actually a good shade for me. I don't wanna spoil too much for my review that will be coming up, but this will be staying in my collection. As will the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I don't know if it's just mine, but this has like the worst freaking sprayer on it. Like if I don't literally hold it this far out from my face, you know, like I'm about to sing to my love or something like that, I will hose myself with this. So maybe my sprayer is defective or something because I've never heard anybody else complain about that. But uh, it, it shoots me right in the face. Like some dirty, dirty things I probably should not mention. Anyways. I had the Aloetta Face Paint Lip and Cheek Tint. This is really pretty. It is staying in my collection. By the way, if you are new to my channel, by the way, hello, how are you? Thank you for subscribing. Uh, part of the reason why I do a monthly makeup basket, not only to kind of cycle through my rather large collection, but to see if there are things that I want to keep or I want to declutter. So even though I'm panning stuff, I try to use other things as well. It makes my panning a little bit slower, but I think it is worth it to also make sure that the other things I have in my collection I do like and aren't just sitting there for me to not be able to get to for like a year and a half because I'm panning a palette or what have you. So hopefully that makes sense. Speaking of palettes, speaking of decluttering, I'm actually gonna declutter both of these and I will tell you why. This is the Rimmel Magnif Eyes Shadow. I hate saying that. Uh, this, these are just not, you know, very uh, unique to my collection. I do really like this shade right here, but, you know, I'm bound to have, you know, eight different copies of this shade somewhere in my collection. So I'm not going to hold on to this for one shade. Um, like I said, it's, it's just a smoky eye palette and it's not terribly unique to my stuff. And this one, this one should be great, except for one problem. This is the Maybelline City, the City Mini palette in Concrete Runway. This shade is both a blessing and a curse. Now, it is, if you use it wet, so it's not gonna work quite right here, but it is gorgeous. I wore it on my eyes in a recent video. But unfortunately, like I said, here, let's, Let's use some of this. Like I said, everywhere. 
to, to actually get it on there. It is beautiful, don't get me wrong, but for one, I'm bound to have a dupe of that, at least very close to it somewhere, and B, it is Fallout City, no matter what I do, like using a setting spray or fix, I used to fix plus at the time because I still had mine, but I finished it since then. Uh, doubling up on primers, anything that I could think of that I already have in my collection, I can't get this to not fall out all over my face. It stays on my eyes, but you know, glitter all over the place so I hope I could find a dupe to that shade in my collection because it's really stinking pretty uh, powder blush this is an Estee Lauder blush all day natural cheek color in raspberry and this is a pretty color I'm not sure how unique it is and it's a little bit to build up which is not necessarily a bad thing because I'm hilariously pale but uh, that will, I will go through and do some swatching. I got this on the, on the My Subscription Addiction swap site, so I didn't pay for it. But uh, I want to go swatching around and see if I have a dupe of that, because this packaging is kind of bulky. And well, I'd rather keep something that I paid for. Highlighters. Um, because I wasn't panning a highlighter this month, I am currently again, but I threw in several highlighters last month. This is the Shimmer Strips in Malibu Strip from uh, Physician's Formula. It is gorgeous. I did wind up sticking to like the first two rather than the whole thing to make sure that it was, you know, appropriate to my once again hilariously pale skin tone. So I did enjoy that. I might depot this though because it's Physician's Formula. The packaging is too bulky to be real. And I did enjoy both of these. These are the Wet n Wild highlighters that were, I think these might actually be in their palette that they recently put out. But this is Royal Calyx, it's the purple one, and Botanic Dream is the pink one. I will do some quick swatches. I will say I did have to get through like a layer of product on these. Because when I first got the purple one especially, it was really dry. But like I said, once I swatch through a layer, plus, you know, it's purple, they're not going to make it super pigmented, but you can build it up. This is the purple, this is the pink. So you can definitely work with it if you are cool with a purple highlighter. Not everybody is, but they were out as part of the Halloween collection that you could buy in stores. Let's see, uh, the last thing I have, because the rest of this is just some brushes that I want to declutter, is this Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. I think this may have been in last month's, but I forgot to show it. I do actually like this. Like, the color is really good. Uh, the brush is kind of annoying. I tend to just use my own brush, but definitely it'll work if you are traveling and don't want to bring an extra brush. So, I like this. It's good. And now on to what I'm using this month. Um, I got some new stuff, so I wanted to incorporate that along with some older stuff that I haven't used in a really long time. The new thing I got is the Lorac Mega Pro 4. I probably did not need this. There's no problem, I didn't need it. But uh, the colors spoke to me. So I will be playing with this. There might actually, I might actually do like a palette bingo with this just to get myself started with it, you know? Because uh, I forgot, because I've been panning the Lorac Pro for like three years now and I'm down to my last shade. I forgot how creamy these shades, this formula really was. And to bring in something old, I, I brought in for blushes instead of just grabbing a couple of different blushes, I grabbed my Too Faced Love Flush Blush Wardrobe. So these are all minis, but I believe they are all in the current line. So we got a deeper one, you know, for the fall, and we got some warmer ones down here to, you know, go with the more warm trends going on right now. So I'm just gonna, you know, play with these. Let's swatch a couple of them. Looks like the only one I've really fooled with is Justify My Love, because it's the only one that actually, like, shows any real wear. So these are really, this is a really nice blush formula that I'm sure I can blend out and make look good. 
I did throw in a cream blush too, because I do love my cream blushes. This is the uh, Butanic Beauty Blush Serum. And that is it right there. So it's another one that I have to be careful with, like that Alouette one. Not necessarily the right time of year for this color of blush necessarily, but I don't really pay attention to those rules. Uh, highlight. I actually have a highlight duo. This is Vintage by Jessica Liebskin. I swapped somebody for this because it came in a boxy charm before I signed up. This is Rose Quartz and Chocolate Diamond. No, wait, I bought this from somebody. I didn't swap for it. I was going to swap for it, but a friend of mine was selling her, so I bought it instead. There they are right there, so I'm sure those will be lovely. I've used some eyeshadows from this brand before, and they're really good. <laughs> Let's see. I did throw in a little eyeshadow duo that I actually swapped for. This is the Too Faced, not Too Faced, Smashbox Cover Shot Golden Hour Eyeshadow Duo in Turned On in Psych. I unfortunately don't know which one is which. So. Smashbox does have a Smashbox. Has a good shadow formula as far as I've seen. I have another little duo like this from their uh, Full Exposure palette that I really like. For the foundation that I'm trying for the next month, this is actually the last one I have in my collection that I have not tried yet. I'm kind of excited about that because I had a backlog for a while. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. We shall see how well this works on my skin. This is in the shade 1.2. That's helpful. And I'm actually going to be panning this in the 12 pans of Christmas, but I threw it in here because I usually throw in a setting spray as well. This is the Kat Von D Locket Makeup Setting Mist. It's just a mini, but this mini was $14, so I want to get my money's worth. Now, before we get into lip products, a new one of which I'm wearing right now, but uh, I do have an eye base. This is from... To I can't read it. Somebody sent me this as an extra in a swap, but uh, I thought that the color was really pretty. Like it's this kind of pretty shimmery taupe. It's not usually my thing, but at this time of year I will. I am more likely to wear it. And I have the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition. And mine is in the shade Porcelain. So I bought this a little while ago. I have not tried it yet. I've only swatched it. Now nah, I'm down to swatching on my arm. So we will be playing with that. And finally, lip products. So the first one that I'm wearing, I back to MAC a bunch of stuff today and I picked up Velvet Teddy. I had a car sample of this a month or two ago and I really, really liked it. So initially it was on sale for the 21 Days of Beauty from Ulta like a month ago, but uh, by the time I checked the site, it was sold out. So I decided to use it for my Back to Mac. I really like this color. It is a matte, but it's very comfortable and not drying like the Urban Decay one was earlier. I have the Milani. This is just the regular lip line in Chilled Brandy. I think their regular lipsticks smell great. I know not everybody is a fan, but I like them. So that is it right there. I have a Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in Red Velvet. I miss these. I have several of them and I know that they discontinued them, which makes me sad. That is it right there. I'm obviously running out of swatching space. so. Figured I would play with that this month. And finally, somebody gave me this. This is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Beeper. I am admittedly not a huge fan of these, but they work. If I find it too drying, I just apply like a lip gloss on top, honestly. And that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.